from SFO to LAX. From LA to Panama City. From Panama City to Curacao. We found the ocean. My man Edgar just found us wandering in a parking lot and, and took us to a place where we could jump a wall to get to this really conveniently located uh, work site labs over here that looks like just like a medical facility. It does look like a work site. It's definitely a work site. Uh, I think they're making, you know, making we'll, this labs here. We'll, we'll jump through the hoops. Oh. We need to jump through, yeah. I suppose. As long as this all turns out correct, like I want it to go. It's funny how we're all figuring this out slowly but surely. All right, so I think that's the one. Conveniently, they've turned the bus stop into uh, what is this like a little cafe? Not so conveniently, they have large machinery outside. Oh, this is where they get we get stabbed. That's this makes us well. What do you think, baby? Uh, so far so good? I think it's cool how they lean into their theme of being a work site. By actually being a work site. But like you know, these guys got this like uh, thing stuck in the genie and uh, they're building a big tent. They got like little mobile minis everywhere. Looks just like a work site. Yeah. I often have long layovers at the airport. And I like being at airports without having anything to do. Being in no hurry whatsoever. I see a lot of people running and I've had to run. They don't like running in airports. We've got six hours to kill. Give me some coffee. Hopefully our uh, results come back soon. On the airport map, every once in a while there would be these little parts that just say art. The battles filling out all the COVID paperwork on your phone. I mean, it's not half the battle, but it's some of the battle. Knowing is half the battle. Oh, it's knowing. God, I never know. Which is why I don't have half the battle done. After starting our laundry last night at 7 p.m., not packing until then, getting our COVID test the day we're supposed to fly out. Uh, it appears we're actually in the airport and it might actually happen. Now, that being said, they haven't officially checked our COVID paperwork. They get, they're letting us on the first round of the flight because it's not international, but it seems to work. It seems to be happening. Everything seems to be going right. Seems. 
SFO to LAX. We're here. We made it. Uh, the We haven't checked in our covid -y stuff, so technically we could just be stuck in LA if they don't accept the COVID stuff. Did but, you um, go on an LA shopping trip if not? Ooh, LA shopping trip. I'm sorry, that's so Okay, weird. Luna. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hopefully that will all go well, so here we go. You notice the cat in her natural habitat, waiting for people to get on planes. What is it you? This cat is uh, getting anxious. She has the angst. She has oh. ennui because she wants to be one okay. of the people on the plane. I want to be called, my group to be called. She wants her group to be called so she can go to Panama. Panama, Panama. Panama, oh, 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 oh. Penima. Penima. Come on, Penima. From LA to Panama City. We are currently in Panama City. It is currently like 5.45 in the morning. Uh, this particular flight, uh, cat slept well. I did. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I, I was pillow. You are pretty. Yes.
I thought it was looking a little overcast and uh, yeah, apparently it's raining. <laughs> Somehow I'm not as upset as I was in the Keys. I expected to do this here and there, that's fine. It's not gonna do it the whole time. I say now. Oh God, is this where I put foreshadowing? No. Why, I do believe we have broken our Florida curse. The rain, baby. It, it dissipated. It didn't, it's not a hurricane. Uh, I don't know, in Florida, we got the perfect day in Miami with waves. Uh-huh. We wanted boogie board waves. That's true. The hurricane came up and was like, yo, I hooked you up. Yeah, but this was just a brief moment of, of rain and, and it is the beginning of our vacation. Yeah, well, I like that there's a little moisture. Yeah. Oh, I'm scared of the iguanas would. Oh, I know, the iguanas were cute. We will show you iguanas when we find them again. This is a bar. We have found a bar so far. It is not open as of now. This is what I think is a two and a half foot foot pool. It's two and two point three. Two point three foot pool. Do people sit in this? Question mark. It's a bench pool. There's a bucket. Literally you just sit in them? Yeah. I guess. I don't understand it. I don't know. There's an ocean right there. There's literally an ocean right there. So listen, Curacao is not close to us, and so it took taking a red eye to get us here at a decent time for us to enjoy the day at all. But taking a red eye takes it out of you, and so it's taken me a minute, but I've showered, Chris has showered, <laughs> took me a while, to, really I was the last to shower, and I have uh, rallied, and now we're going to go and look at the day, it's done raining. And uh, let's see what there is to the resort. It's not like our, our last resort. It's definitely gonna be a different kind of vibe. So let's check it out. Uh, here's my wife, she with me, but look at that. Wow, man, that water getting heavy with it. We found the ocean. It was like two feet away. It's beautiful, super clear. <laughs> Chris fell in. We're gonna go continue to explore. This is the mini tour. Ocean. Check. On the next of our tour, we continue outside of the resort because the resort's actually pretty small. Uh, it's more a canal. It's like, it's like Florida. It is like Florida. Along the road. We're just exploring. On our walk, we see some sort of, I think this is like a, a giant rock climbing phallus over here. Uh, I want to see what that is. Definitely closer want to see what that is. Out. What you say? Let's get closer and find out. Alright. It is a rock climbing wall. Is that? Yeah. Is that ours? That's part of our That's part of our resort. I wonder if we can rock climb. Interesting. No, we'll rock climb. led us to the bed, which I knew was a possibility with that whole red eye thing. We slept through dinner, but then I woke up and now we're gonna go figure out what there is to do at around 10 o'clock. Yeah, there's a casino and one time 
a whole casino fiasco happened with my husband, so I don't know. I want to let him loose in a casino. But, uh... Really One time, we went on vacation. We didn't win a vacation. That's a, that's a lie. We won lot. Okay, he won lots of money, but that's the part of the casino fiasco. It's a whole hilarious, like part of whatever. Point is, okay, he can't be trusted in a casino. He'll win a lot of money, but it'll be really stressful. Um, casino, maybe a little food along the way if we can find it. Uh, and then, uh, if we can manage to get ourselves to go back to sleep, hello, jet lag, um, we'll figure out, well, how Curacao can treat us tomorrow, even though I know it'll be raining. Um, I don't think it'll rain all day. So, that's how things are going for the rest of tonight. <laughs> that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's hilarious. I see long ones all the time, baby. Don't worry. No, I want the platinum. I don't want gold. We're sitting here on vacation trying to decide which health care is the best health care for us for the coming year. This is not at all no, I want what I want to think about. Hey, I think platinum got cheaper. That's awesome. That's great. I don't care. This is how we will end our night. But it's been a great night. It's like 2 a.m. here, but only like 10 p.m. where we're from. So it's potentially a time in which I could actually fall asleep, which is good. Uh, we'll see how that actually ends up working out, but we've got to choose some health care because we're old and have to choose some things. Um, oh man, we're just, we're just well covered. Well covered. we got the platinum plan all the way. Platinum. Our kids even get platinum plan. Gang, gang. Okay, cool. Looks like they're moving the swinging old lady. Maybe a... I'm pretty sure what we just saw, internationally exported Dutch races. We are the second hand dolls. We are working with Arawak Theatre. And today we are giving these free letters. She's going to pick. Uh, no. My 
guest tonight is Kat Dietrich. She's uh, joining us from America. And uh, we're really excited to have her. Uh, Kat, uh, would you like to say a little something to our, to our live studio audience? This is supposed to be just what we were doing on the in around. Wow, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Now, Kat, your latest work uh, was library, and now you are really somewhere near is. South America. So tell me, how does it feel to be beneath the equator? I'm directing and you're fucking up. Very interesting. That is a strange metaphor to describe what it's like to be beneath the equator. Uh, we're going to have to... Cut. Add break.